Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. President Obama's full letter to President Trump released. A tradition for American presidents when their time is done is to leave their predecessor some parting words in the form of a letter put in an envelope and left on the Oval Office desk. On Trump's inauguration day he read the letter from Obama and thanked him for his parting words. It was long. It was complex. It was thoughtful, Trump said. I appreciated it. The letter was the last communication between the two most recent commanders-in-chiefs, Fox News reported. I've always wondered what Obama would have to say to Trump and now we have the letter. Here is the letter in its entirety. Dear Mr. President Dash. Congratulations on a remarkable run. Millions have placed their hopes in you, and all of us, regardless of party, should hope for expanded prosperity and security during your tenure. This is a unique office, without a clear blueprint for success, so I don't know that any advice from me will be particularly helpful. Still, let me offer a few reflections from the past eight years. First, we've both been blessed, in different ways, with great good fortune. Not everyone is so lucky. It's up to us to do everything we can, to, build more ladders of success for every child and family that's willing to work hard. Second, American leadership in this world really is indispensable. It's up to us, through action and example, to sustain the international order that's expanded steadily since the end of the Cold War, and upon which our own wealth and safety depend. Third, we are just temporary occupants of this office. That makes us guardians of those democratic institutions and traditions, like rule of law, separation of powers, equal protection and civil liberties, that our forebears fought and bled for. Regardless of the push and pull of daily politics, it's up to us to leave those instruments of our democracy at least as strong as we found them. And finally, take time, in the rush of events and responsibilities, for friends and family. They'll get you through the inevitable rough patches. Michelle and I wish you and Melania the very best as you embark on this great adventure, and know that we stand ready to help in any ways which we can. Good luck and Godspeed. Bo. Nice. I'll be the first to admit that Obama is a master bullshitter. Like Biden said I mean, you got the first mainstream African American who is articulate and bright and clean and a nice looking guy, Biden said. I mean, that's a storybook, man. Oh mal. Uncle Joe had some classic gaffes. Biden has made other questionable comments. In a June 2006 appearance in New Hampshire, the senator commented on the growth of the Indian American population in Delaware by saying, you cannot go into a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Oh, I'm not joking. Two months later, responding to a question in an August interview on Fox News Sunday, Biden was asked how a Northeast liberal could compete against more conservative Southern candidates. Better than everybody else. You don't know my state. My state was a slave state. My state is a border state. My state is the eighth largest black population in the country. My state is anything from a Northeast liberal state, Biden said. He repeated the comment during a visit to South Carolina in December 2006 at an event before the Columbia Rotary Club, according to a story published in the state newspaper. The state reported that Biden referred to Delaware as a slave state that fought beside the North. That's only because we couldn't figure out how to get to the South. There were a couple of states in the way. Lol. I could go on forever but you get the picture. Anyways, I thought you would enjoy seeing Obama's letter to President Trump. Like I said, Obama is a master bullshitter. Obama made his first political appearance since leaving office in January at a private fundraiser for the National Democratic Redistricting Committee, NDRC. The event was held to raise money for the effort of Democrats to take back power after getting destroyed in November. It was held in a private home and was attended by Obama's former Attorney General Eric Fast and Furious Holder and The Walking Dead, Nancy Pelosi. Holder is currently leading the NDRC. 
Holder is spreading his anti-Trump garbage all over the country and is holding meetings with liberal lawyers and Antifa rioters in San Francisco and other liberal cities. Holder is leading the charge to keep fighting President Donald Trump and his administration. How productive! What a filthy, racist pile of trash! The Democrat Party is in shambles. They have no positive ideas or message so they are focused on their ridiculous resistance effort. What a mess!